Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I want to show you a really, really simple minecart contraption. And first I'm going to show you what it does, and then I'll show you why you actually want it. It's pretty useful. So if you're coming in from this direction, kind of going forwards, uh, nothing really special happens, you just kind of go straight through. However, if a minecart comes in going backwards, it'll get sidetracked and sort of stored on these unpowered rails. Then, if you're riding a minecart and you come through again, that minecart will get launched back off towards uh, towards the direction you just came from. Okay, so what is that? Why is it why is it useful? Well, this is useful for long one-way trips. So, for instance, when you're taking a minecart through the Nether to get from your base to where the end stronghold is, that's kind of a one-way trip because you're just going to take the end portal back to your base. So, you have this. This is just a basic minecart station. We take the minecart off on a straight line. And when we get there, an activator rail is going to boot me out of the minecart, and it'll send the minecart back towards the base, where it'll get stored back at that minecart station. And if that's all that's happening, that's fine. However, imagine this is a really long rail, and not all the chunks are loaded at the same time. So once you get over here, you know, partway toward on the return trip, that minecart's going to get reach unloaded chunks, and you're going to have problems. So I built this this portal here that'll just teleport me back to the front end to symbolize this is a one-way trip. So let's take that one-way trip again, and when we get to the end, I'm going to go through that portal again real quick to simulate the chunks unloading and us sort of beating the minecart back to base. And then if we get in a minecart again to go off to the end, and that chunk, those chunks load again, we're going to have problems, right? This is now pushing us backwards. This is stuck on the rail. It's not good. And so for really long one-way trips, you really can't use a single line like this for the return minecart unless you do something special. You can have another line come and act as the return line. That would work as the chunks get loaded, it'll it'll make its way back and, and that'd be fine. But that's kind of wasteful because you have to have a whole second line. Here, using the contraption that I showed you at the beginning of the video, we have two of them installed in the railway. Uh, we can avoid that problem. So we take a minecart, we go off. Uh, again, as before, we just go straight through and uh, we'll get ejected by an activator rail. And then the minecart will start its return trip, but it won't try and go all the way back. It's only going to try and go to this first station here. And so we're not going to have problems with unloaded chunks because uh, either it'll have time to get back there before I enter this portal, or even if it doesn't, then the next time I'm coming through, it'll have time to get back into that station. So we let's go all the way back here and take the trip again and see what happens. So now we don't have a minecart coming the other direction on this line. We have a minecart waiting here, and as we pass it, it'll get make more progress back towards base. And this one that we were riding will get stuck at the first station. This one that was here will make more progress back towards the original minecart station. And uh, you know, we go through the ends, we go take the end portal back to base, and uh, no, there wasn't a minecart here. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, as we go off, now this minecart is actually gonna make it all the way back to the base, and this minecart will make it to the next station, and this minecart we were just riding, etc. So it's sort of like they're like climbing a ladder and getting out of your way so that the next time you come through, you're not gonna have, I just need to add more minecarts to this station, I guess. So that the, the next time you come through, you're not gonna have a minecart coming at you. So this is great, and uh, it, it works really well for a single player, but it does not work at all for multiple players riding minecarts through this. Um, so you know, you you, you have your uh, the first player comes through, and as they pass by, they'll trigger this. And if a second player is coming through immediately, they're going to run into that minecart that I just sent off. So this only works for one player at a time, but if you're in a single player world, or you know, you, if you just have something like this where you don't plan on coming through with multiple players at once works pretty well. Yeah, so um, I'm not really sure what to call this thing, but it's like a it's like a ladder for your minecarts to get back to, back to base for a long one-way trip. It's really simple to build these. You just need some detector rails, some powered rails. You don't even need a power source, uh, and you need some regular rails too. So let me show you how, how you build it. So you have you know a minecart line coming in like this. Um, you just knock down one, two, three, four, uh, you're going to put regular rail, detector rail, regular rail, then two powered rails, and a third one, up, a third rail of any kind up here temporarily. Then you place some minecart rails like this. You're actually going to need to break this temporarily, and then you can put it back, and then you can break this block. And that's all there is to it. And so if we, let's see, let me actually 
build a little power line so that we can come in from this direction. And just to demonstrate that it does work. So we come in from this direction and we just go straight through. If a minecart comes through from this direction, it'll get sort of sidelined. And then we come through again and that's how it works. Hopefully some of you guys find this useful. That's about it. Thanks for watching.